everyone, it's Nancy here and I'm going to try and film this video for about the fourth time because I keep having coughing fits. Um, this is just a tiny little a bit of a haul, well it's not really a haul, just a couple of things I brought and then an awesome rack as well. Um, recently I have been looking at a few people's layouts and stuff I love and doing a couple of scrap lifts. And a couple of people, um, especially um, Carrie who is on the Hey Little Magpie design team as well, um, and oh the name escapes me someone else oh, look on, on Pinterest um, uses um, roses like um, very much like the Prima style of stuff um, as you all know I had the coffee time Prima stuff and the flowers from them are ridiculously expensive so I just went to a local stationer's and they kind of do what I would call um, cheap cheapy yeah cheapy kind of craft stuff um, and these were a pound for like a packet and there's what like 10 in a packet um, so I picked up some pinks and some blues this is a kind of like a cream colour um, I've got some green and blue and some blue and red and then some tiny white ones I also had some red and bright green which I've used on a layout already and then just some plain white ones and what I am just planning on doing is taking my mists and just spraying these ones so <clears throat> I think what I will be doing in the future is just buying these the small ones um, and using them um, on projects I am not going to go flower crazy I'm not going to change the way I particularly craft but um, in doing some scrap lists and stuff I felt that I really wanted to try out using some flowers so I treated myself to those and now they're all going to fall everywhere <coughs> so I want to show you an absolutely awesome rack that Joanna sent me um, all the way from Canada um, very very excited um, and hello um, we all know <coughs> that I am um, I love Cheetos. Um, my boyfriend loves Cheetos, and these actually came a really um, good time. Um, unfortunately, um, there's a bereavement in my boyfriend's family, um, and it's been real tough. And being able <laughs> to um, send him a picture of these Cheetos um, and putting a smile on his face was really, really cool. <coughs> Sorry, and um, so yeah, I I was just like in awe of this huge bag of Cheetos and these are Canadian Cheetos which we were kind of like even more excited by so yes they were mega exciting um, and then she sent me loads of other goodies let me just pull them out here totally spoiled um, but I'm very very grateful let me everything in a box behind me here so so I wanted to pull these out um, she made me this really awesome card um, and she's like stamped on vellum it's pretty amazing um, so yeah so she sent me a really cool note really like this card and this will be going in my um, my album and I do have a huge list of um, things to cards and things to send out to people um, who have sent me racks and stuff <laughs> I really do appreciate them and I have been really really sucky at sending stuff back out um, I do have a list of things to do and so I'm hoping over the next couple of months and coming up to Christmas I can get some built packages out to people because I really really do appreciate this and I don't want people to ever think that I'm not grateful um, especially to send stuff over here to the UK I know that's that little bit more expensive so I really really can't thank people enough um, but I will be sending some stuff out um, I might I might share it at another point I've made myself a really cute little address book um, because I wanted to keep track of everyone's addresses so um, anyone who sent me any racks or anything like that or cards or entered any of my giveaways and sent me things um, your addresses are all in my now little address book so <clears throat> so cool to start with she sent me some really cool hello kitty stuff um and this is cool because this is a happy birthday hello kitty so i really like that one 
um, but this is like this little um, sticker pack and I will be using these in my um, planner for work and you can never have too many Hello Kitty stickers just you can never have too many stickers really and then oh my goodness she's she sent me um, some Hello Kitty washi tape so that's now a couple of people who have sent me oh flowers are falling down who've sent me Hello Kitty washi tape someone needs to, to sort something out and we need to get some Hello Kitty washi tape here in the UK um, so I don't know if the light's going to pick this up but this is some really cute little Hello Kitty so that's going to be used for my planner and I have a Hello Kitty Pez um, I have like one other Hello Kitty Pez which I've never opened it's still in the packet kind of really tempted to open this but it may just hang on my wall I don't know I kind of like Pez candy um, anyway, <laughs> um, then she sent me some really, really awesome stuff. I've taken this out of the packet because I took this away with me. And I don't know how she knew. I don't know how she knew that I'd spent all that money on those gorgeous girl stamps and the Tim Holt stamps. And I didn't actually have a big enough stamp block. And this is the one with like the foam pads on, so you can kind of just push down on it. And yeah, I, I, I don't I don't mean to sound this horrible at all, but I don't know why she sent this to me because at the point I hadn't done a huge lot of stamping, but when it arrived I'd literally been looking to buy myself one, so I was like, oh my goodness, I, I was going to buy one and she sent me one, this is just perfect. And I took it away for um, my weekend and yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's great, it's amazing. and. I can fit the really large stamps on here um, and I like the fact it's got a grid on so that was so awesome it is it's awesome I've used it so much so I've got it and I'm kind of like how did I stamp stuff without it um, so really really cool <clears throat> we always know it's a happy day when Nancy has some enamel dots um, and these are some really cool enamel dots that um, I presume Joanne made and I really love these blue ones. They're going to go super nice with that blue, that um, after midnight blue mist. We all know I love them, um, and I can't make them myself. And I'm uber grateful when people send them to me. So they will be going, being divided into the colours, because um, we all know um, Sharon sent me an amazing amount, and so these will be divided off into that little package um, as well. So love those. Um, she then sent me some stamp sets, and I'm not sure who this stamp set is by, because um, it doesn't say. Um, it's really crap. I should have probably stamped these out to show you. Um, I don't even have a piece of paper. Oh, Nancy, you are rubbish. Um, let me put these here. Like, yeah, that's probably on my iPad. Um, there's a really cool coffee cup. Um, a little sneaker, like a little um, high top. Um, this is kind of like this little pattern, there's a little circle, chair, a window. This is a little coffee shop stamp, these little dots. This is really cool, I like this. I really like um, this little coffee shop. I think it'll make a really cool card. Oh my god, listen to me, I'm talking about making cards. What has happened to me? Um, but yeah, I really like that stamp set. She then sent me two close to my heart um, stamp sets. This close to my heart only sell in America. So I was super excited when I saw them. And this one was called Coffee Shop. And I love this. I don't, I, you know, I don't know if they're new or um, new out or what, I've, I've no idea. But I was so excited when I saw it. And I've actually used these on a layout already. I really like the fact that the saucer and the cup here, you've got a like a stamp so you can stamp in a colour and then stamp the outline over it. So I really like that. Um, as I said, I've already put it to use. And I really like these nifty little um, envelopes that they keep them in. Um, the stamping up ones, of course, come in like the CD and um, DVD cases. But yeah, I really like that. And then this one she sent me is called A Chocolate Affair. And this is called Stamp of the Month. So I don't know if they have kind of like a um, stamp club or something. <clears throat> it's called Aug it was August's stamp. 
Oh, this is August 2014. Okay, so it's quite a new one. Wow. Um, I love this. Again, um, not only are you going to make good luck cards, but I think they'd be really good to make embellishments for layouts. Death by Chocolate sounds like the way to go. Um, every day is a Sunday. I've never met a chocolate I didn't like. Chocolate understands. Brownie points. Chocolate tastes as good as skinny feels. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Um, and then chocolate's good for you and who needs milk with some cookies. I really like these. Um, I think they're going to be really fun to use. Um, Amazon Look Projects. And really good to use in Project Life, these kind of images. Um, and I am still thinking about going back to Project Life this, this next year. This year? Next year. Because I'm now at four albums for this year and I can't carry on like that. <laughs> so... So yeah, that was the um, cute stamp she sent me. Excuse me guys, I'm just going to move some stuff off my desk because I keep chucking stuff everywhere and I'm sure the rustling is really going to annoy you all. <coughs> I'm just going to have um, some drink. I have my really cool skull tankard. It's Halloween, I go and buy all the tat. Um, she then sent me these canvas tags which are really kind of cool. Um, I bought those tiny little canvas tags um, from Paper Mania here in the UK. Um, I don't think... They haven't got a name on, they just say basic canvas tags. Um, I think these of course will take ink really well. Um, they've kind of got paper bits in as well. So I'm really intrigued to try them and as you all know I like using different textures on my layouts. So I decided to try those. She then sent me these two packs of these stickers which are called Rockabye and they are amazing. There's 242 in here and you get numbers. Um, it is amazing, it's a lovely size, it's beautiful. I think you could be absolutely perfect um, not only for using on you know, like Project Life and layouts and stuff like that, I just think, I think it's really perfect. So very excited to have those. Um, she then sent me some sticker sheets from <coughs> Basic, excuse me, Basic Grey and um, I know that these are from older collections but it really doesn't bother me and this one, um, I just must have skipped this one, this is 2010, um, Lauderdale. I love this. I think this looks really kind of like modern with like the colours that are in at the moment and this kind of watercolour effect. Um, I'm going to have real fun using these. I even love this really bold one. Um, so yeah, and there's like tiny little tags and zigzags and I think these are going to be so fab for layering. Really, really do. Um, so yeah, this is called Lauderdale. Um, this one is called Marjolaine. Um, and again, it's got these really cute ones, but I really love these huge ones. I think they work really well, and you can never go wrong with some border stickers. Uh, this one is called Origins, and again, these really big flower designs. It's kind of really into using flowers and stuff at the moment. These would make some great layers. So excited to use these. <coughs> Excuse me, let me just have a sip of drink. Oh, I can't wait for this cold to be gone. Um, this one is then called Kissing Booth, um, and these birds, oh, I can't believe she wanted to give this away, these birds are so beautiful, um, I kind of really like the sketchiness as well, <coughs> and um, these hearts and stuff, and this is like bee mines, so that would be really great to just cut up, you don't have to use these just on um, you know, Valentine's layout, so I take it this was a Valentine's collection. But these birds, I love these birds. Um, so really excited to get those. And then this is from the Captured collection. Um, and these are the little alphas. Very excited to have some more of these. Um, they're such a great size. So um, I don't know whether to hang on to these for Project Life next year or to use them. I don't know. I've still got the Highline Collection ones. Um, so I'll probably just store them in with those. But I love those. Um, then she sent me a selection of papers. And 
you know when you kind of get papers that um i wouldn't say basic grammy i think some of those some of these are basic gray ones and they're not something i necessarily go for um straight away but actually looking through these you kind of like think oh you kind of overlook certain papers and i again i don't know how old these are or, or what but i think they're really great this is like a, just a really great newsprint with um, a red distress on the back and that is the good thing about um basic gray they really do like good sort of plain this again has got a lovely um ledger on or this red design polka dots and that i mean these are going to make great background papers we all know that i like you know using patterns as background papers this is a matte paper or um this is kind of a diamond grid it's like nice check or this which is kind of like parcel paper i think that'll make a fan background um there's this orange plain one or this polka dot again there's another matte one i'm not sure if these came from a collection or not <coughs> excuse me uh, this one looks familiar it really looks like a studio calico paper but i don't know what if it is um but they are just fab neutral again this is another great ledger or a pattern i love this i vaguely remember having this one in red and using it um again oh, there's a ledger on the back this is a really cool like bandana print or a tiny ledger on the back really like this kind of ransom sort of print alphabet again okay, another great ledger on the back this must be basic great because i vaguely remember getting this in the studio calico kit <coughs> or a ledger on the back i think i've used this one before again i really like that all this nice distressed polka dot this is a really nice kind of chevron design or a grid on the back this is a nice kind of a, I don't know what you call that pattern, but I love this side. Really nice grid on the back. Again, this is a really nice grid on the back. Or you've got kind of this design. So you may not like these sides, but I think these grids ones are just, oh, they're perfect. I mean, they're going to be really great for backgrounds. Um, and they're actually really nice um, quality paper, actually a nice um thickness so that was my amazing rack from joanne <coughs> excuse me um which i'm really really super super thankful for um and i've messaged her and she knows that um she did send me this like a couple of weeks ago but i really hadn't just got around to doing um filming it um and i'd already used um the stamp press and the stamp so i thought i really need to film this because I was wanting to use some of this paper um, but want to film it first so big big thank you to Joanne it's totally amazing you're totally cool and I already told her um, how fitting the Cheetos were when they arrived so thank you very much and thank you very much for watching my haul and I'll be back with some more videos soon bye